Hello, and welcome to the latest edition of MVEL News. I'm Dylan Geislers. Later in the show, we'll take you on a tour of the entertainment options that you'll find off campus. But first, we'll go center stage with the MVEL men's basketball team, which is hitting the big time with the game against SUNY Purchase at Madison Square Garden. We've, uh, we've been trying for years to play at the Garden. Uh, we've tried any way possible and never had the chance to. And then this year, they kind of called us out of the blue and asked us if we wanted to play before the Maggie Dixon Classic. Uh, so it was a great opportunity, but nothing that we expected or tried to do. This is actually the first year we didn't try to, so it came as a nice surprise. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. I'm excited. I like our team a lot this year. We've been playing great recently. Um, we have an older team, an experienced team, so we should have a good season. And, and I think by the time we get there, we have two games left before we play that game. And I'm hoping we just keep getting better and better and better. So I think by the time that game comes around, we'll be playing really good basketball. My expectation of the game is to have, have my guys ready to compete. Uh, no matter what game it is, we still want to compete on both ends of the floor, on the defensive end and the offensive end. We, we take one game at a time, so we prepare this as any other game. We're more excited to play because it's at the mega of basketball, so we, um, we believe this will put our uh, school on the map. As a captain, I've been preparing by just making sure our team's ready to go every practice. Um, you know. That's, as I said before, that's where our games are won and that's where we're good is our hard work. So as long as we bring it in practice, that's, I've just got to make sure we're ready to do that every day. It's definitely exciting for me. Um, I'm a New York guy, been going to the garden since I was a little kid with my dad and, and friends and family. So it's a big deal for me, um, you know, just to, just to get the chance to, to be involved and be on that court is going to be pretty special. Um, but to, to do it at Manhattanville, the place I played at and the place I've been coaching at, and to do it with a team of guys who I really like a lot and is a great group of people is going to make it even more special. So it's just great all around, not just for our team, but I think for the school also. Uh, a lot of people are getting excited and getting into it, so hopefully it can bring everybody together and, and be a good time. I'm most looking forward to the warm-up because um, that's where I'll really be able to take everything in and appreciate it and realize that you know, we're playing at Madison Square Garden, which is a pretty big deal. But once after warm-up, that's pretty much it. The rest goes out the window and we're just playing basketball as usual. No, I think, I think our team will, will be successful, you know. Uh, I don't know how to, I don't want to be overconfident going into the game, but, you know, we're a good team, so our prospects are good. The thing I'm looking forward to the most is it's playing. I just think that's like the most beautiful thing about it, just playing and stepping on the court. We're excited about the game, obviously to play there. It's, it's the world's most famous arena and it's a big deal for anybody to play there, especially someone from New York. Um, so we're excited just about that, obviously. Uh, but playing a team like Purchase, who went to the national tournament last year, is something we're really excited about. And uh, it's another really important non-conference game for us. Our goal is to take our, our program to the national level and be recognized as one of the best in the country. So to play a really good team like Purchase in that setting is great for us. The big game is Sunday, December 19th at 7 p.m. For more information, visit GoValiance.com. And there are plenty of other entertainment options here in Westchester County if you're itching to get off campus, and we're not just talking about the bars. Laura Sajant takes us on a tour. 
The Terrytown Music Hall is the oldest theater in Westchester and a building listed on the National Register for Historic Places. The 843-seat music hall is owned and operated by the Friends of the Mozartina Musical Arts Conservatory. It provides quality programs in the performing arts for the general public, including performances and opportunities for students and professional artists. The music hall is you know, a great place from what I can tell. You know, it brings in tons of great acts. You know, we're excited for all the acts that are coming through. I mean, Greg Allman, he's coming through. That's going to be amazing. And uh, we're going to hope he stops by the shop, you know, checks us out. Uh, we're also getting uh, Edgar Winter, too. That's, that's going to be cool. When Tony Bennett was there um, years ago, either something was wrong with the mic or he decided not to use the mic and he just sang to the audience. So, I mean, it, it's been around forever, you know, since I've been around, obviously. And just, it's a great, great piece of Westchester. I can't beat it. The Westchester County Center is a beautifully designed and efficient venue, and it is the home of an array of different activities such as the Dance for the Disabled, Indoors Farmer's Market, the Great Westchester Toy and Train Show, and Playland Job Fair. Central Avenue is just past the train station. The Long Avenue, right on the outside of White Plains, has an immense strip filled with restaurants such as IHOP, Fujimura, California Pizza Kitchen, and several diners. And it holds points of interest for all the shoppers out there. The White Plains Performing Arts Center Live Entertainment is dedicated to the presentation and production of a full spectrum of performing arts events for the city of White Plains and the surrounding communities. They are committed to creating and implementing arts education and outreach programs. That wraps it up for this edition and this semester of MVille News. On behalf of the entire news team, I'm Dylan Geislers. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays and good luck on your finals.